Hey you guys, it's Molly. I'm doing a couple different things. Arteza product review um, as well as a, another experiment with the rainbow satin, uh, the rainbow colors and the satin enamel. So I'm going to try to do somewhat of a ring pour in the center and then with the white spiral it around it so that Maybe it'll be like a blooming effect of cells kind of curling up, but I don't know what's actually going to happen. But they didn't have white, so I have the cream. And I mix the cream with the artist loft, and you can see it just goes right back in to the cup. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with where I kind of have an idea of where that satin white will be. I mean the satin cream, and then I know I want it on my edges. Oops, my lights just went off. Give me a second. I gotta get a real studio. <laughs> and I want it on my edges, I know. I don't know if this is gonna work, guys, but might as well experiment, right? I've got my cup. I just layered my cup with uh, rainbow colors. And I'm going to start. Okay, so I kind of washed, wiped my hands off and then I thought I'm just gonna pour a little bit and just maneuver this around just a little bit more because I can already see like those brain cells forming and I didn't really like the uh, all that yellow that was in there. So I'm gonna try to tilt some of that yellow off and come back in with some of that blue. I think I like this better. My pink consistencies are just a little bit off from one another, and that's why I'm getting all these jagged kind of lines that are in there. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm going to let this... Uh... I'm going to let this kind of sit. Um, some people had questions the last time about this developing, and I have not figured out the process to stop that development. So when I say that, I just mean I'm going to leave it alone and let it, let it do its thing. So I'm going to fix up some edges and see what's going to happen there in the middle. So I'll see you guys back in a little bit. Okay, you guys, this is about 10 minutes later. Let me see if I can take you in. I got some of the effect in the middle. I wanted more of an actual spiral, but eh, what can you do? So let's go in. You can see that cloudy effect there. Maybe I'll take you down. Okay. So... See the cloudy effect happening. 
and those pearlized cells have already swollen and kind of taken over the color. I took my finger and kind of drug it through. Look at all those little brain-like cells. I like those little cells right there too. I took my finger and drug it through the color, but that's my favorite corner right there. Looks almost like they're glowing. So that is what it looks like now. So I'm gonna let it keep doing its thing and then I'll show you guys again. And check out the end of the video because I show you about the Arteza paints that I'm using. And I've got links down below if you wanna get 10% off. I've got a coupon code and I am an affiliate. Uh, have my affiliate links down there for them for now at no extra cost to you. But okay, I'm gonna let this continue developing. I'll see you back in a bit. Hey you guys, it's morning now. Um, it's not quite dry yet. Let me see if I can get you. Yeah, see the paint itself um, still needs to dry just a little bit. But the Arteza paint came out so vibrant in it. I should have probably done a product review on its own instead of adding this cloudy effect to it, which I'm going to do. But it came out super cool. And my lighting's not kind of showing how the, um, all those beautiful colors kind of came through those cells. But yeah, the cloud, cloud effect took over on this one. Again, my composition, not the best. Look at those purple cells, those blue cells. But... I'm really loving the color palette. Almost looks like a heart in the middle. You guys see anything in this painting? I don't know. I kind of see intestines and hearts. I see a body in this one. <laughs> but that is how it came out. Um, I don't mind the cream at all. And the Arteza paints are like super duper vibrant. So check out my links below. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Um, hope you guys don't get tired of this because I'm going to keep working in rainbow colors and cloud effect for a little while until I actually get what I'm going for. So thank you guys for watching. Happy painting. Bye. Okay, you guys, so Arteza sent me all of these colors and I am so excited because I have been doing rainbows and all kinds of different things so I'm super excited about this and I finally got Van Dyke Brown where is it right there and there's a Payne's Gray I'm excited to see how this Payne's Gray comes out because it doesn't look like my regular blue one that I use there's the browns, We've got some oranges. So I cannot wait to use these. All right, I'll see you back in a sec. Okay, you guys, so I mixed, I mixed this with just Floatrol and I must say, it was actually quite easy to mix. I had heard reviews that it was kind of lumpy, but I just put in, so I put in about a half of a tube. That's that violet color back there. Holy crap, these colors are really, really, really pigmented. It's awesome. Um, so I put in a half a tube. A tube is 22 milliliters, so I only put in 11 milliliters of paint, about. And the rest of this was just Floatrol. So I mixed like one to one or one to two um, and just stirred. And then I put more, like, and then mixed it together. And then I put more Floatrol in after. So, I mean, that consistency is almost good by itself without any water. I might add just one little bit of water, but every single one is just so smooth. 
Oh, there's a little clump of something in that one from the Floetrol probably. But yeah, so that's how I mix the paint. All right.